So just a few days ago inside Hamza's Adonis school, he set a challenge where if you were at the top of the seven day leaderboard at the end of the week, you would be able to win a one on one call with him for 30 minutes. That would normally cost two point five thousand dollars. And I was thinking in my mind, I'm going to fucking destroy everyone else. I'm going to destroy the competition. I'm going to fucking make these motherfuckers regret messing with me. Now, obviously, they didn't fucking give a fuck about me. They didn't, like, they didn't do shit to me. But I was thinking these thoughts, and that pushed me to get there. And see, I'm at the top of the leaderboard right now. And that's going to stay that way. Because I had confidence in my goals. I had confidence and the desire to destroy everyone else. That is the masculine desire. That is the masculine competition. Those dark thoughts you think in your mind that you don't say out loud. Those are the things that push you to, the, to your goals. Those are the things that m make you actually do something about your life. Those are the things that make you take action and actually be succeed. Now you could say, oh, you got lucky, but bro, I put in hours. I put in hours to get this. Would you put in hours to get something worth 2.5K? Would you put in that many hours? I put in many hours a day to get this, and I fucking succeeded because I put in the effort. I had the confidence, and even though I was only number 15 on the leaderboard, when you had to get to number one, even though 15 is great because there's fucking 2,000 members in there, I still wanted more. I wasn't satisfied with what I had already. I wanted fucking more. I wanted to be first because second isn't all right. Third isn't even close to all right. First is the only one who wins. I want to ask you something. Do you know... The, who was second place? Who, who's the? You know who the f fastest man in the world is, right? Usain Bolt. You everyone knows that. Who's the second fastest man in the world? You don't give. You don't fucking know. You don't know no shit about that. Who's the second fastest? You don't fucking know. I don't. I don't fucking know. Second place doesn't win. Third place doesn't win. Fourth place only first place wins, and I was not okay with the fact that I was not first place. And so I grinded. I made sure that I became there. And I was so, I was super far away. I was hundreds and hundreds of points away from first place, but I had the desire and I cared about it too much to not win. I cared about it too much. I had too much of this mas masculine aggression and competition to say, I'm going to get there and I don't care the, what the fuck gets in my way. I'm going to do it. I made sure it happened. I put in the effort and I was very confident in it. I was saying, you know, before the before it anything happened, before the challenge happened, I was saying, OK, I'm going to do this. I'm going to destroy everyone else. And even if they're they're nice people and fr like friendly and and like self-improvement and everything like they're they're just like me and and they're they're guys I like, you know, obviously they're they're very cool guys. But having those deep thoughts, having those aggressive thoughts in your mind, that's masculine. That's masculinity right there. Having those aggressive thoughts in your mind, pushing you to actually get the result you truly wanted. If you truly want something, you'll get it. If you truly want something in life, you will get it. If you truly want money, you'll figure out a way to get money. If you truly, truly want a good, like, a like to be big you truly want to be masculine you will become that because anyone who truly wants something will get it and i truly wanted to be at the top of the leaderboard i truly wanted to get this conversation with hamza even though i've i've already spoken to hamza before in real life bro i've had a conversation with him but getting that top tier advice straight from him with something that is worth Two point five thousand dollars. That is fucking worth the effort. And I knew it. And I knew I was going to make it.
And guess what happened? I destroyed everyone else because I said I would. Because I knew I would. There was this cool, like, I was just speaking to a guy right before I came out to record this video. I was speaking to a guy on a call. He's 16 years old, probably around your age. And he was saying, like, he was saying he came up with this realization. And um, it made me realize something as well. Is that you can tell who's going to make it. Most... Most of the guys that clicked off this video already, they're not going to make it. You're probably not going to make it. I'm just going to be honest, you're probably not going to make it. Because you can tell who's going to make it. In Adonis School, Humza's program, you can tell that maybe, that probably 50, at least 50% of the guys in there are not going to make it. You can just tell at least 50%. At least 50% of the guys in there are not going to make it. And that's his, like, paid $130 a month community. And... And even, like, 50% of them aren't going to make it. In that, like, expensive program, it's not that expensive for the amount of value that it gives. But what I'm saying here is that even the best of the best communities, even more than half of them won't make it. So you need to think to yourself, do you really want to make it? Do you, how much do you want your result? Because you could say, I want it. You could say, I really want it. You could say, I really, really want it. But the man who will get it doesn't say he wants it. The man who actually gets the result doesn't say he wants the result. He says he will have the result. He doesn't say, oh, I kind of want it. Oh, I really want it. He doesn't even say, I really, really want it. Like, I really want this. He says, I'm going to become a millionaire. He doesn't say, oh, I really want to be a millionaire. Or I really, really want to be a millionaire. Like, it would be so cool if I was a millionaire. He says, I'm going to be a millionaire. You can just tell when someone will be successful. You can tell when someone's going to get the result. And I can tell you right now. I'm going to become successful, and I know I will. I know I'm going to become successful. I'm confident in the fact that I will become successful. And if you subscribe to this channel, you'll only get me there further. If you subscribe to this channel, I can teach you so many more lessons on being a teenager. I can teach you so many more lessons that I've learned as probably the most successful 13-year-old out there. Hamza Ahmed himself called me the highest testosterone 13-year-old. He literally called me that. And I can literally, like, I don't know if it's on video. I really wish it was. Like, that was, that was fucking cool. But, like, he called me the, the highest testosterone 13-year-old. That says something. Hamza! Hamza! Not just some random fucking dude. And he didn't just say that. I can tell he meant it. And I know he respects me. Hamza, I have the respect of Hamza Ahmed. So you should have the respect of me because I know what I'm talking about and I speak what I'm credible for. I speak about all the teenagers' problems, all the shit that most teenagers struggle with and I've helped people already. I've already helped people along their journeys with their parents, with school, with friends, with teachers, with social media, with all that teenager shit. I've helped people already. So that's why you should listen to me. And that's why you should go subscribe. I have free coaching down in the description. It's basically a Discord server, but you can DM me for the detail for the coaching details. It's completely free community, completely free coaching <clears throat> for now. <laughs> It'll become paid at some point. So you might want to get in there quickly before it becomes paid. And I can give you my top tier personal advice. Because a lot of the advice I give is just general. But if you tell me your exact situation, I can tell you exactly what to say to your parents. That autistic level thinking, what do you say in the conversation with your parents? I can give you that specific advice. And I've already, it's already worked for many people. I wish you have, I wish you a very good rest of your day. Peace out. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!